Computers feel like they can do an infinite number of things, but they are all technically finite state machines. It's just that their state set feels infinite because of the vast number of states they can take. Let's start small. A binary bit can be 0 or 1. That's two states. A byte has eight of those. That's 256 states. A 64-bit x86 processor has 16 general purpose registers. There are many other registers and countless unknowable internal states a processor can have, but counting all of that is about to not matter at all. The computer I'm editing this on has 64 gigabytes of RAM. I can't even calculate this number. I can calculate how many digits long it is though, so let's just do that. My GPU has 11 gigabytes of VRAM. I also have a two terabyte drive plugged in, and I also have an eight terabyte drive I edit off of. We're getting into insane territory here. This number is somewhere between 14 factorial factorial and 15 factorial factorial, and there's a lot of internal state that I'm not even aware of, so this number is probably even bigger, but it's still finite. There is a number. Imagine a state machine with this many states and an even more staggering number of transitions between them. Well, I guess you don't have to. You're watching this on one right now. It's just something to think about, I guess.